Hi guys, so this is going to be a review for the um, Target dupe for the um, Sponge Beauty Blender. I don't personally own the actual original Beauty Blender and I've always kind of eyed it after, you know, seeing all these beauty YouTube gurus talk about it and rave about it. But honestly, I cannot justify spending 20 something dollars on a sponge when I can spend less money than that and buy an actual like Sigma brushes. That's what I use personally, like my F80. Um, I just recently ordered the F80, but it's the angled. I don't remember the exact number of those, but that's just what my preference is as far as to apply makeup, especially liquid foundation. So after hearing all these raves about the Beauty Blender and whatever, I still have not purchased it. But then when I've been seeing, I've been seeing dupes here and there. Um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx always have like dupes, names that sometimes I've never even heard before to be honest. Um, but the other day, well not the other day, but a little bit ago, I had gone to, um, I had gone to Target. And right where they have like the Target brand makeup brushes, um, I noticed they had a look like a beauty blender dupe. And I believe I paid between like three or four dollars and I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. That I can do. $25, not so much. Especially because I've seen how dirty this thing gets with people that I've watched videos on and after a while you got to replace it and especially with me like I said I use brushes I spot clean them every day after every use plus I I wash them and stuff which I have a video on how I wash them I just couldn't justify the price so like I said when I saw this I purchased it and I can tell you right now don't spend your four dollars I know it's not a lot of money and I would rather much rather be out four dollars and be out twenty something dollars um but the whole concept of this is that you're supposed to get it wet at least the original one you're supposed to get it wet and it expands or something I guess it gets bigger than original size and then you're supposed to like bounce it you know with your liquid makeup foundation this thing does not bounce I mean you I rent I you know had it underwater I got it wet and I wring it out and stuff and it's the same size it has it's so freaking hard I mean you cannot literally like bounce it like you I've seen people do with the beauty blender to say the least I tried it and I didn't even finish applying my foundation with this I immediately just grabbed my Sigma brush because it wasn't like moving around my face I wasn't blending I was not even able to do anything with it just because it's so it's so hard and has no like bounce um so do not spend your money on this like I said I have not used the original one. I haven't even like tried the ones that they sell at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or whatever. But or the I know Sonia Kashuk has one. Um, who else? I believe that's it. But this Target one is just horrible. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it's just like it's hard and it does not like move appropriately like to you know blend your foundation so like I said I didn't even finish using this to apply my makeup the other day I've only used it once and I kept it just to do this review and let you guys know what I thought about it because I had posted a picture on Instagram a while ago um, and I never reported back to see how I liked it and finally the day I gave it a try and it was a complete fail so yeah, that is my quick review on the Target dupe for the um, Sponge Beauty Blender. Do not spend your $4 if you're watching this, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.